over 4 million people have seen this video of cesium being dropped into a bathtub. And to this day, there are still some left that don't know that this video is fake. That's not what cesium in water looks like. It looks like this. And I know what you are thinking right now. That looks incredibly underwhelming. But let me promise you, in this video you will see an explosion caused by cesium just like the one in the fake video, with the exception that it's not fake. It's the reaction between liquid oxygen and cesium. It's the most violent explosion caused by cesium you have ever seen. The viewers who watched my video about this cesium, well that's not very specific, I'm talking about this video. The ones who have seen this video know that I made the cesium for a meeting with Elias from Elias Experiments. We performed some reactions involving cesium that have never been done before on YouTube. And you should check out his channel, he also uploaded a video about our meeting. All of his videos are worth watching. They are fun, educational and spectacular. He is an awesome guy and we had a lot of fun this day. A word of caution up front. All of the reactions were done in a safe location with the knowledge of the authorities. They were performed with the appropriate safety equipment and should not be repeated. Besides the cesium, we bought a lot of other chemicals we wanted to test. Potassium permanganate, sulfur, iodine, bromine and many more. Sadly, we did not get to test all of them. If you are interested in a specific reaction, let us know in the comments and we will see if we can arrange another meeting. Let's finally get to the reaction between cesium and liquid oxygen. We first transferred mineral oil that has been dried over some sodium into the Schlenk flask with the cesium. This way we were able to remove small amounts of cesium with a syringe without the cesium instantly reacting with the oxygen and moisture in the air. We first wanted to test the reaction on a smaller scale, so we poured the leftover liquid oxygen from the large doer into a beaker. We then used a 1ml syringe to remove 0.1ml of cesium from the Schlenk flask to add it dropwise to the liquid oxygen. So we are not adding the whole 0.1ml at once, those are small drops. You can see the cesium catching fire before it even hits the surface of the liquid oxygen. We wanted to scale up the experiment using the vials I made. For that I 3D printed a mechanism that allowed us to break the vials from a safe distance. Here you can see version 1 in action. The one we used in the video was version 2. The new mechanism should have prevented the end of the vials from flying to the side. We then filled a 600ml beaker with fresh liquid oxygen. What you see here is only a fraction of the cesium reacting with the liquid oxygen. Most of it was stuck at the end of the vials. They were too thin and too long. And one end of the vial didn't even land on the beaker.
So we decided to spice it up a bit more. We took 2.5 milliliters or 4.7 grams of cesium, filled it into a small glass and covered it with a thin layer of mineral oil. This way the cesium would completely react with the oxygen. And reacting it did. Mehr wie? Jetzt haben wir schon mal sehr sieben gedacht. If you know somebody who lives in Germany and has access to a proper high-speed camera who would like to film some of those experiments, contact Elias or me. We would love to get some high-speed footage of those spectacular reactions. Only some glass dust was left where once a 600ml beaker stood. Searching the area, we found some glass shards. If you want to see more of this type of content, consider subscribing to Elias and my channel. We would appreciate it. I want to thank my Patreons for supporting me, and if you want to become a Patreon, you can find the link in the description. Other than that, thank you a lot for watching.